All right, so now in this video we're going to go over an interesting circuit I came across today, and that is flashing an LED with a single 2N2222 NPN bipolar junction transistor. It's a flashing circuit for that, and uh, there's a schematic. So right now we are working with 9 volts, as you can see there. If I turn up the voltage, let's turn it up to a 10, you can see it flashing faster and uh, 11 volts it's flashing even faster so let's look at that quick you can see just slightly less than uh, 10 or 11 volts so in any case it's hardly using any current either you may have saw that so let's uh, drop her back down to a uh, 9 volts 9 volts is actually the minimum let's go to eight and a half you can see it's not flashing at all so it's got to be at least 9 volts but you can go above that a bit so We'll turn the power off. We'll remove these jumpers. They came from the uh, power supply and uh, they'll just get in the way while we're doing our build. So let's yank those off and then yank the uh, components off. So to begin with, we will start with the transistor. So as you can see, there's not many components there. So I'm using a 2N2222A and I didn't add the A on there, but it doesn't really matter. Works exactly the same as a 2N2222. The leads are spread out from a different uh, video, and I never put them back together. So, in any case, flat side facing us, we got the emitter here, base in the middle, collector on the right. So, as far as the schematic is concerned, if we turn it this way, now we have the uh, pin layout that we want. So, the emitter on top, base in the middle, collector at the bottom. And interesting thing about this circuit is the positive side of the power supply is connected to the emitter through a 1 kilo ohm 1000 ohm resistor the base will be left floating so another interesting thing about this circuit so I'm going to uh, put the collector straight across from this jumper there and then each one of these pins will have a space in between them so there we go now we will take the uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor and see if I can angle this where you can see it better there we go I will just put that from the uh, positive jumper there that goes to the positive rail and then the other lead down there and uh, there we go the electrolytic capacitor is a 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor there so the long lead is the more positive side the short lead is the uh, more negative side there it's a polarized capacitor and uh, so the uh, short lead we're gonna put to ground and then the long lead we're gonna put into the same row as the uh, emitter of the transistor and where the resistor come together so there you go the LED of course the cathode the shorter lead needs to go towards the negative rail the longer lead the anode needs to go to the collector of the transistor and if you cut the leads the cathode has a flat edge on uh, most LEDs not all though but uh, most so let's tilt it up there and you can see that we got the uh, connection there so let's uh, Get the jumpers back in so red over to here and as you can see there's a lot of metal here so we want to make sure we don't actually accidentally bump into other metal somewhere or something but I have the uh, power supply set to limit current to about half of an amp in that range so we should still be uh, safe anyways so let's see if we got her working turn power supply on it takes a little while for the LED to finally fire up, but there you go. And once it gets fired up, it just keeps going pretty steadily. So, again, we're at 9 volts there. Let's go up to uh, 10 volts. We got 10 volts there. Let's go to 11. Just a tad above 11. So there's 11. Let's go to 12. There we go. And 12 is probably about where we want to limit our voltage to but uh, in any case 
this clearly works from a 9 to a 12 but not any more below a 9 so if you're using a 9 volt battery don't use one that's been used a while where it's drifted below the uh, 9 volts but otherwise if you have a fresher 9 volt battery it will work just fine so I can't really explain this other than I know that uh, if I yank the transistor out and uh, put it the other way where the uh, collector is more positive and the emitter is more negative Let's see if it will go in there there we go so it's wired exactly the same I can see there they made uh, connections to those two uh, points it, it does not work in that direction so it only works when uh, you technically put it in backwards because usually the emitter is more these leads are getting bent like crazy the emitter is usually more negative than the uh, collector and uh, okay I think I was off a spot so there we go but yeah now we got the emitter back to the more positive side of the circuit and now it flashes